Pops. I bought these a few weeks ago. They're called Jelly Pop. And they're shoes from Shoe Department, which is here in Buffalo, New York, on Delaware Avenue in the Marshall Plaza. And they have a sister store, Shoe Show. I orders from them online because it's only four stores. And when I order, they grab, you know, a pair from this store, a pair from that store, a couple pairs from this store, or whatever. I got these for half price. They was $6.49. And they have the foam cushioning in here. I ordered my shoes in 11 wide because for many years I wore 10. And I liked it to wear toe rings on every toe but my big toe. So I tend to go to wide so my feet could spread and be comfortable. So as I got bigger, my shoe size got bigger. And I couldn't see ordering a ten and a half wide and have my toe hitting on the seam. So I went up to 11 so I could have that space. And I really like these shoes. As you see, they're not straight across. They're on a slant. And some days, it irritates me, but most days it doesn't. And I'm not saying that the shoe irritates me. I irritate me. Some days I swell, and I don't know why. And when I swell, my shoes get tighter. Don't ask me why. I guess I, I can understand why they are getting tighter. I just can't understand why I swell like that. But I like to have that extra room. But these shoes are so comfortable, especially when I'm out and about it around the town. I'll, you know, wear them when I'm going to the doctors, even out in the suburbs. Or when I'm going to the store or something, I'll keep them on. All shoes, I don't care, expensive or cheap. When I get home, I take them off because I like to walk barefooted. But these are some really, really nice shoes. As you can see, they're really, really nice. And for six forty nine, I think the best thing in here is this memory foam. As you can see that I'm pushing. Hey, that's me. I like buying expensive shoes, don't get me wrong. But I live on twos and fews. I'm one of them people that love to live ghetto fabulous. Yeah, I like to live good just as well as anybody else, but I got to stretch my money as long as possible. I have to pay bills, rent, gas, lights, uh, internet and phone, you know. I got to buy household supplies, cleaning supplies, personal hygiene supplies, and I still got to have some money for me. So... My point is, if you can get a comfortable shoe that's cheap and your feet feel good in them, why not? So, Shoe Show does, Shoe Show and Shoe Department does have higher, higher costing shoes, which there's a pair I do want, they're leather, but, um, I, I just don't want to go out and spend 30 and 40 dollars on no pair of shoes all the time. Sometimes, hell yeah, I don't have no problems with it. But sometimes, just for the summer, I am wear these a little bit until it gets cool. And then I'm putting them up for the spring because that's what I bought them for. I wanted a, a cheap pair of shoes to wear in the spring and in the fall while it's still warm. Excuse me. In the wintertime, I wear some other shoes, and um, in the summertime, I wear a lot of sandals and flip-flops, so I like keeping shoes like this around for the spring and the fall, and they are comfortable. I'll let you know how they feel with socks on, but I don't want my feet to be too tight in here. These are a wide, but... I'll, I'll try them on and let you know, but I am so happy with my cheap purchase of shoes. So if you want some shoes, cheap or affordable, and higher end prices, check out ShoeShow.com. So that's 
S H O W S H O E dot com. You'll be glad you did. And every time you buy shoes there, you get points for every dollar you spend. Not shipping and handling or tax, but on your actual purchase. And your points never expire. Usually what I do, I'll buy a pair of shoes here, I'll buy a pair of shoes there, I'll buy a bunch of shoes. And then after I build up so much, then I will use those points to reduce my order amount when I'm ordering a big order. I'm not going to order a single pair order. I'm just not. Um, you have to pay shipping and handling. And if you know me, I really don't like paying shipping and handling. Certain things I will. But if I can shop with a store and you got a limit and then it's free shipping, I'd rather buy shoes or anything and it'd be free shipping. So with shoeshow.com, it's $49.95 and then you get free shipping. But since I ordered a nice size order when I made my $49.95 order, they send me emails here and there like around Christmas time. If I order something for $10, I get free shipping. Or after Christmas, they be having boots on sale, buy one, or sh boots, boots and shoes, different things. Buy one, get a pair at half price, and free shipping. That's when I do whatever I'm going to buy, and then get the free shipping. So I don't order no one or two pairs and pay shipping when I can just wait and you give me a, or a special $20 or whatever, whatever the limit is, or just free shipping. And then when I feel I need some shoes, I buy some more. I like to try to get shoes for the different uh, seasons. But like how I just got these, and I say they for spring and, and fall. I done worn some in the fall. And I'm going to continue to wear them here in the fall. And then I'm going to wear them in the spring. And then that's it. So next year, 2020, these should be still good. So that's one, one less pair of shoes I got to buy. Then I also bought some sandals and, you know, different things. For the upcoming year, because hey, if I can get a pair of shoes for five forty nine, six forty nine, anything under ten dollars, and they shoes that I want anyhow, and they're on sale, even over ten dollars. Don't get me wrong, but especially when they on sale, you putting the sandals on half price or whatever, or buy one get one half price, or just certain shoes half price. And I was planning on getting some shoes anyhow. I put them all in that order and get them shoes. Because I don't care if it's this season, next season, or season after. If I can find some shoes that'll work for me, because I've been wearing a lot of low shoes. I do. I did order a pair, a, a, a short heel from Shoe Show. But when, um, when I can find some cheap shoes and I got the extra money, I'll go ahead and get it. And then, like, when it's a higher pair that I want, because it is a higher pair that I want. When I get some extra money, I'm going to just put some more shoes with them in order. And I won't even be mad because I paid a, a higher price. Because I do a lot of surveys and get gift cards and stuff. So I can afford to do that. So until next time, remember, check out shoeshow.com. You might see some shoes you like. And if you got a family, you might need to order for you and your kids, or you and your man, or you and your husband, or you and your wife, or you and your girlfriend, you or boy and boyfriend, I don't know, don't care. Niece, nephew, grandmother, uncle, cousin, friend, whatever. Put your money together. If you see a pair and they see a pair, put your money together, get your free shipping, and just order it to one house. But seriously, if you want some good quality, affordable shoes, some some high end, some low end. Check out shoeshow.com and let me know what you thought of it. So if you've had any interactions with shoeshow.com or any interactions with shoe show, the actual store or shoe department, please let me know what you feel about them, whether positive or negative. All opinions are welcome. 